Hello, Miss Faye here. Um, today we are looking at the work of John Virtue. Uh, John Virtue is an artist who works on a very large scale a lot of the time. This is actually a smaller sketch, but um, his bigger pieces, um, the paintings that you've seen on the PowerPoint, um, are as big as the back wall of the art classroom. They are huge. Um, I went to an exhibition of his at the Tate um, Britain um, several years ago um, where he was uh, painting in, in their actual uh, galleries there and creating these huge London landscapes. So we're going to recreate this piece today. Um, we've got St Paul's Cathedral in there, easily recognisable. I just had a look around the house to find some different sized black pens that I can use for this. It's quite nice to have a variety um, from thin through to thick if you've got them so you can make different marks. Just have a look around, see what you've got. Um, I found an assortment of Sharpies, felt tip pens, biro, different things there that I can use. So, um, if you wanted to, you could trace this one, although I don't think you'd get the energy of line that we're looking for in this. So, um, I'm probably going to start off with my biro. Um, those of you who know me well will know that a biro is one of my favourite things to draw with. Um, I like it because you can get all these different textures of line. Um, obviously I'm not using a pencil here at all. If you're not feeling brave enough and you want to sketch in with pencil first, by all means do so. But for me, I feel like the energy in this drawing comes from the fact that you're using all these sketched lines uh, quite quickly, quite dynamically, to build in this picture. So that bar has worked quite well to start off with, but you can see I'm going to have to come back and work into these parts with something a bit thicker in a moment. But I'm just going to focus on getting these main shapes in here to start off with. Clock tower here. So I'm just looking at this and looking between the two pieces of work the whole time. So I'm just replicating those lines that I'm seeing. Um, my paper is about the same size as the piece I'm using. I'm just using photocopy paper again here, but you can work in your sketchbooks. It would be fantastic. That lovely paper you've got in there. Uh, right, so I'm down to here. Now I need to start building in some of these lines across here. The idea of working with a biro means that you have to commit to your lines but it also means you can put down a few lines to represent one thing. It also, I find, it encourages you to loosen up a bit. We're very good at making these um, very tidy pencil drawings but actually um, sometimes you get much more interest, energy, excitement from a less accurate sketch that has more emotion in it, more feeling, more dy dynamism, more interest. Okay, so that's quite satisfactory as an initial sketch. Now I'm going to go in now with um, my felt tip pen. This is my thick felt tip pen to start picking out some of those sections. Making some of these lines a bit darker. A bit more solid really, some of them. The, the uh, burrow is brilliant for sketching but actually now I want to kind of solidify some of this drawing. Still keeping it loose though. So almost you can imagine the biro was my pencil, if you like, and now I'm going into it with my permanent. Sort of 
like a pier, doesn't it, here with the river underneath it. Okay, so having done that, I'm then going to go back and I'm going to use, this is um, a handwriting pen here, but I'm going to use that to work back in because that gives me a finer and an inkier line than the biro to put in some of those lines around the drawing that give it that um, feeling of movement. Feels like there's a lot going on in this drawing. It's not just a static landscape shot. It feels like almost it's been taken over a moment, a period in time. So you're feeling the motion through it. Okay, and there is my copy of a John Virtue drawing.